Hey everybody, we are at the IPEX booth here at AHR in Orlando, Florida. We've got Richard Chatui, a very experienced HVAC and plumbing contractor who knows his stuff. Uh, hey Richard, how are you? Great to be here. Good. So uh, today we're going to be talking about flue gas venting. Uh, yeah. Why do you think it's such a hot topic? Well, we've been, we've been talking about this topic on this house and other places for a long time. You know, the whole idea about just taking regular basic uh, PVC, you know, regular drain waste and vent pipe and put it onto an appliance that's going to heat and cool, heat and cool, it's going to get brittle over time and it's not really code for it. So I sort of got together with you guys because I liked what you were doing, sort of setting that new standard, uh, the system 1738 standard. So at least now there's the beginnings of a standard that would mean anything you use for venting would be, you know, proven to be safe on a gas appliance. So. Uh, you, you caught my attention. Yeah, so I mean, there's there's the sub system 1738, which is made to the UL 1738 standard. Is it recognized by any of the model codes? I think uh, you would know better than I. I mean, I, th I think it is. That's the hard part is to now make sure it gets recognized in this very big North American market. Yeah. I know it's in Canada, but you know, uh, it's a question of now uh, how it's being enforced. Yeah, so the, the NFPA 54 and the International Fuel Gas Code recognize it now. And you know, you've been around, you've seen some things, I'm sure you've seen some poor installations. Mm -hmm. uh, why do you think it should be mandated? Well, I never forgot, I read a, I wrote, I read a profile once on a, on a, it was an insurance case on a DEF. And I remember it was piping run behind a basement paneled wall and it just leaked and it, you, you know you realize that the, it, it cracked or broke behind the wall and the people died and it reminded me about we're dealing with caustic toxic chemicals and if it leaks it's not like a the leak of a, a little bit of water i mean our sewer gas so it's a big deal we we are entrusted with the, the safety of the north american continent here uh, and so it's pretty to me it's pretty stupid not to use a pipe that you can at least trust and be safe and that's not just you guys, it's right. really polypropylene, it's stainless, it's anything. It's just what can you put in the wall where you can sleep at night and not worrying about killing somebody or get or get sued. Yeah, you just want to make sure you're using yeah. a certified product, right? For, for every other application, yeah. there's a certified product. Yeah. And for a life safety application, you want to have the same That's right. thing. Right. Um, is there anything else you wanted to, to add? No. If you, if you made this out of a material for my boat, I would, I would use it because <laughs> it's safe. Thank you very much. All right, thanks.